My name is Steven Sasson, and I invented the, the, the digital camera. To take a picture, I would t pick it up, and um, I would take the, uh, the camera, and we had to build a switch right here, and it had two positions. The first one uh, turned power on to the camera, where all the electronic ca would turn on. And then the second one would grab the picture. And then after the picture was grabbed, it was read out at, at, in about 50 milliseconds and digitized and stored in a digital memory card, which was contained down here. And so it was captured then. But it wasn't stored then. I needed a more permanent form of storage. And so the only more permanent form of digital storage I had available to me at the time was a digital cassette. It took about 23 seconds to record. And the tape would hold 30 images, a number I chose, by the way, to be conveniently between 24 and 36. I didn't want to store just one or two images on there, because then they'd say, well, that's not very useful. I didn't want to store 100 or 1,000 images on there, because nobody knew how to deal with that concept. See, the key, I think, when you're putting across an idea is you have to understand the culture you're dealing with, first and foremost, and put everything very much like the culture's used to, and then put your idea, only the essential elements of your idea out there, so that it doesn't get confused with things that it might complicate the concept. I took the first picture in December of 1975. I was asked many times how long this would take before it affected consumer photography. I used Moore's Law and the assumption that a consumer, cam a consumer would be happy with two million pixels worth of, a, of an image. <laughs> Might seem silly now, but that seemed like a big number back then. And it came up with 15 or 20 years. The options the average person has today for imaging is um, un unlimited. Uh, you walk around with your cell phone or your digital camera today, and the pictures are excellent. They're uh, reliably produced. You can share them instantly. I like to say to inventors that uh, uh, be aware that your invention is in an environment where the rest of the world is inventing along with you. And so by the time the idea matures, it'll be in a totally different world. I think that was the case with the digital camera. sitting in the pixel chair.